Time to play with some clay. Well, all I've been doing is uh, putting little blobs of clay on the uh, headdress. It's been probably about an hour into it now, so I got probably another couple hours of doing this. I took the uh, feathered band off uh, because I need to work on the back and stuff like that, but uh, I got to work on that too, so still a little bit to do. Well, I made a bunch of these little doohiggies that go on the headdress uh, and I did that while watching a movie on my computer just so I'm not bored to death. Alright, I'm going to just start putting these on and uh, I was looking at the reference material and I saw that some of these are pretty long. Okay, I'm going to do this uh, fast speed so that uh, I don't bore the eyeballs out of your eyes.
Okay, it uh, didn't take long once I had all the uh, ermine tails made, but now I've got to go back and uh, now I got to go back and start getting rid of some of the uh, deep recesses. If I don't do that, it will definitely be impossible for them to clean. They've got to be able to clean all the uh, shell out of the uh, crevices. Now the shell is what they make of the uh, wax copy that they make from the uh, rubber mold. It's made of ceramic material and if you don't get every bit of that out of the bronze's crevices it becomes, uh, you can see little white spots because uh, the uh, material does not take to uh, patina or acid coloring and so it would shine out like a piece of snow or a dandruff. <laughs> yeah, so you just gotta try to make it look loose but you gotta have it filled too. And that's where this little ball tool comes in really handy. It'll still look ragged and uh, like bits of uh, fur, but uh, it'll be a lot easier to clean. Still not going to be easy anytime you have to get stuff out of a crevice, no matter if it's rounded off or not, it uh, takes some extra work which costs extra money which raises the price of your bronze. If I don't do this it would raise the price astronomically. So anyway I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to do a little research on the uh, shape of the horns. I've, I've, I know what antelope horns look like. I just, like a primer, I've got to go back and remind myself of their shape. Good night, everybody. This is going to take a while. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.